Okay, this is the uh, December 11th meeting of the Conway Board of Selectmen. The meeting is being um, videoed by the Frontier Community Access Television Station uh, for viewing later on by our residents and the public. Is anybody else? <laughs> is anybody else taping? No. Okay, good. All right, first item on the agenda, we have minutes of uh, November 27th. Um, aside from that little glitch that we we just got, in, everything else is okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay, I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes of the 27th. Any any seconds? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. We've got um, three warrants. We've got a vendor warrant for one hundred thirteen thousand five hundred one dollars, a payroll warrant of one hundred twenty two thousand two hundred sixteen dollars and a payroll deduction warrant of $31,020. Make a motion that we accept those warrants. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Meetings attended by select board members. Bob? I did not have a single meeting. This what? I, under, I understand. Are you all right? The answer is there were none. <laughs> well, you, you had so many meetings that you reported on the last uh, select board on meeting. On average, I'm yeah. okay, yeah. but no, no. It's a quiet time of year for everybody. Yeah. Robert? No. Yeah. Right. Nothing. Right. Okay. All right. I had a, um, a ZBA meeting on the 28th, and that's all I can say about that. Uh, I attended a FERCOG Finance Committee meeting on the 30th, and one of the major topics of conversation was the accounting software, which we are having a problem with, FERCOG is having a problem with. The company that's supposed to be serving it, servicing it, Zobrio, is not doing such a great job. So uh, a this number. This is the new accounting software we switched to. This is the new accounting software. Yes, that um, is not living up to its um, nice. its billing. And the the old software was no longer going to be supported. Yeah. So they had to change to something. We, we well, they stayed with the same company, which had done a good job. Yeah, we stayed with Zobrio because they did such a good job on the older version of the software, which was, uh, yeah. I can't remember the name, but but, but it was fundware. Used, I think. Fundware, used for used for many years, and everybody was used to it, and it was very good. Uh, it it did well both as a an accounting program for FERCOG as well as the accounting system for all the towns that use their accounting services. Um, and this is the accounting software that you've been saying you can't get the data that you need. <laughs> yeah, well, that was one of the things that was discussed uh -huh. was you couldn't get certain data. Yeah. And especially, you know, you would think that an accounting program would be able to separate different payments and, you know, right. revenue accounts. By department and everything. In, into the, the accounts you want, and this is not doing that. So uh, what, what's going to happen is that either Zobrio is going to live up to standard and, and do something about this program, or we could scrap the, scrap the program and start over again in the new fiscal year. Mm. Uh, so we'll we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but right now it's it's not doing the job and it's causing some real problems throughout. Not only again, not only FERCOG, but um, among the uh, the towns using the accounting system. And and I have asked for uh, detail sheets for a number of departments. Um, I, I originally I saw uh, I, I saw a report that included sub accounts, and I thought, oh, this is great. And then it turned out that all the sub accounts were new or wrong. Uh, there was, seemed to be very little rhyme or reason to them. So I have asked for the expense details for a number of departments, and we'll be distributing those. Or they could come directly from Mike and uh, one yeah. or the other. But. Yeah. Okay, great, thanks. Um, citizens' concerns, do we have any citizens' concerns? I don't see any citizens here, so I guess we don't have any concerns. All right, next item is a discussion of the minimum value to be considered for capital planning. Danny, you have a contribution to that. Uh, I think our intent has been right along to have it for $5,000, which 
I know was contrary to what you guys want. And so I guess that begs the question, why do you want 10 instead of 5? Five is what was recommended to us. Um, well, in, in that, in the binder that I handed out, I had recommended it be ten thousand dollars, and noted a couple of other towns where it was it was more than ten thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars was a was a possibility, and it was put in as a conservative <coughs> figure in the long term financial plan. Uh, but it was marked for further discussion, so we're having that, that further discussion. Um, I, but I, I will say that I did recommend $10,000 at, at the beginning. Did, did we get a recommendation from uh, Joe Markarian on that? Well, he, he put in the $5,000, but he marked it for further discussion. He just put in the more conservative figure because we had not had this discussion at the time he was doing that. So, so again, why would you want to go 10 instead of 5? Well, essentially, it, if, if it's, we had it's to distinguish between um, smaller and larger pieces of equipment, and and that that's a line that that has to be drawn by the by the select board ultimately. But um, it's uh, you know we know we had to replace one snowplow that was more than five thousand dollars. So if that had to go through the process of the committee and being voted on by town meeting. That wouldn't be. That wouldn't be. Uh, and and you know, so it could you. be some sort of emergency. It doesn't have to come up in front of the town meeting. Well, it can be a. If it's more, say it's five thousand, and I want to purchase something more than five thousand dollars, I would go meet with the capital planning committee, and try to get their approval, and then bring it back to the board of selectmen. But town meeting has to authorize to. all expenditures. I mean, it, it's the it's the financial. It it you can't spend anything if town meeting if it's not in the budget. So so it's a question: is 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 this part of the planning? You know where, you know you can you can you can say I, I we're going to plan to buy something um, next year. So it's part of the budget process. Um, as opposed to, there's something we need to get now. Why did we have to replace the snowplow? What happened? To but that, how much is that? That's going to be, you know, it, a lot, right? It, it broke. Well, uh, it, it was six thousand dollars or something like that. You know, so oh, just a plow, not yeah, n not the whole truck. Oh no, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, no, okay, no. okay. No, no, that that would be more, that would be I mean, quite an emergency, and we uh, something a big number we would we would could be do. more than any number that we would set now. So I see. So, so right. So so this this is this is what's supposed to be considered in the planning process. The um, the function of reviewing proposals is is also part of of course the the committee's uh, brief, um, but it's. Uh, you know, to see, um, I mean, the, the the copier could cost more than five thousand uh, dollars. Of course, we, 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 didn't, we didn't go. For, so, so it's a question of, of where where the. I, I'm looking at it more from the planning side of it. The what do you plan for replacing? So the the lower well, you go, the more objects there will be. For? There there will or be to it, plan for. Was this plow something that should have been planned for? Or was it what, what was the story that <clears throat> uh, it was it broke while it was being used that, that that's all I know it was uh, something in the road or I uh, I don't know what it was but it had to be replaced it broke and had to be replaced so so that's that's sort of where I'm coming from is is uh, what is on the list of things that you are that you're using as, as the in that spreadsheet on the capital plan how how big is that going to be? Uh, what's going to be on it, and and then what, what gets be, funded out from capital stabilization? And ours used to be whether it was, whether it was in the planning for future uh, 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 for town meeting vote or out of your budget. Anything over five thousand dollars, you had to ask for and get approval before you spent the money. It didn't make a difference if I had four hundred thousand dollar budget and I had that money set aside to buy something. When it comes time to buy it, you go to the capital planning committee and you say, I'd like to purchase this item for over $5,000. I'd 
I brought all the money in there. This is Tom Mead approved it last year, and I would like your recommendations on it. Yeah, the Capital Capital Planning Improvements Committee is is, is an advisory committee. Right. They make recommendations, right. but they don't approve. Right. The Facade Board is the final approval. Yeah. So is the problem that $5,000 isn't worth what it used to be? Yeah, that's uh, part uh, of the problem. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe, you know, some compromise between five and ten. Uh, I mean, we had this, we've had this discussion about a couple items, and these are all, you know, in Ron's budget. Um, uh, you know, there was a piece of software that you recently had to purchase, wasn't it, or a, some... See, I, no, I, it was radios. It was, it was it radios. It was something it that was, was smaller than surprising how much it cost. But I, I mean, things cost her. real money. Well, it was With a new John, radio system. The, yeah. the capital planning committee is an advisory. Yeah, yeah. I view them as, for want of a better term, an investigative committee. Now we're talking about a plow that broke. We don't know why. We don't know what happened. We don't know if it was two years old, twenty years old. Yeah. Nobody knows. But it wasn't in the budget. And it wasn't in the budget. Should it have been? Well, budget? it was in the budget. It, Ron has had a budget of ten thousand dollars for several years, and before that, it was fourteen thousand. The, the money was in the budget, but not that to, for, for for equipment. Yeah. So, no, you know, a lot of particular expenses aren't in the budget. They're categories. So he has an equipment category to buy things from. How long has it been? Five thousand. For a long time, forever. Mm. Well, shouldn't that be adjusted? I don't think it needs to be. I think it's adequate. It's not, I mean, I think somebody. It's not something that <coughs> has to be Ronald purchased that day. You know what I'm no, saying? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but my, my, my preference is. Well, there could be emergency you, when you're talking about that kind of money, right, as an emergency situation, sure there is. But also, a lot of times, it's not an emergency situation. And you don't need to go out and purchase something that very next day. And I'm, guessing, not we, I'm guessing we've already bought and paid for the plow. Oh, that was some time ago, yes. I'm, I'm just looking at all the departments. I mean... I, I think it was last year. Last year? Yeah, it's an example. Oh, it, oh I thought this was something that just happened. No. Mm -mm. All right. No, so it's, an, it's an example. Yeah, okay. But we'll have one. I mean, it'll come up. Yeah, your we'll board have has recommended one. the five grand. Pardon? Your board is still standing by oh, recommending the five thousand. Well, Bob, I don't know. I got a text message at five o'clock Sunday night that you guys are having this discussion today. Mm -hmm. I have no chance to talk to the committee about it. And obviously, well, we did. We did say we'd be bringing it up for discussion again at the mm -hmm. last meeting. Right? Do you need, would you like to have some time to go back and discuss it with your board members and come back mm -hmm. to us to what your thoughts on it are? I think that would be a good idea. Okay. I, I mean, you That'd guys are going to do what you want to do sure. anyway. But so. we don't have to do this today. <laughs> no, yeah, well, no, no, it's yeah. just, just, well, just yeah. a table discussion until you have a chance to talk to the rest right. of the committee. So we've got some, some right, issues. Can you come back in some time to report? All right. We will schedule a meeting and discuss it. Okay. But, Bob, I, I think I'm agreeing with where I thought you were going to go, which is I really believe in giving a lot of deference to the board. Uh, you, you know, I, I think that you know, we have committees in town mm -hmm. that do great work and... Right. Mm -hmm. And... Well, that's my thoughts. You know, I don't think... We asked this investigative committee to do their job. Yeah. Why aren't we following them most of the time? Now, I asked the question, and I'm going to ask it again, because I want to say to my committee why you want 10000 instead of five. You haven't answered the question yet. Well, I originally proposed ten thousand dollars because I thought it was a reasonable figure. It was only a proposal the, on his part. The, the, yeah. the reason Joe put five was because he wanted to have a conservative estimate because there are a lot of conservative estimates in the in the financial <laughs> not plan. Not a bad thing. And did, did we, we do that because it was what we used to use? We know we had discussed this with Joe, and he had he had seen other towns that had gone up to ten. Oh, there. Yeah. When we had a discussion well, with him, one town has twenty-five thousand. That's there, ridiculous. There, there are many. And well, it depends on the town. Have twenty thousand and what their budget is. Right. Exactly. You know, it, it's a question of what you want to plan for. So that so everything that's over five thousand dollars then has to be in the capital plan. 
So, so that's um, that's where I was coming from, and I was thinking, ten thousand is probably good enough for for what gets into the capital plan and what we have to, you know, plan for in terms of the capital stabilization fund, because that that that's really where this is. Yeah, you know, this, ultimately, this, this is for heading. planning purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll we'll discuss it when when you've met with your committee and. It, and I mean, I yeah. don't know if we can do it. This calendar year or not? All right, when, when, whenever, whenever, whenever you're ready. Yeah. yeah, it's a tough time to meet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Uh, Good day. Bob, me. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, thank you. Dana, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night, Dana. Happy holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> See you all at the Christmas party. Though. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world. A week from Thursday. Thank That's you. right. For all you committee members out there watching, <laughs> and the board members, staff. Nelson, Linda, why don't you come up? Sure. <clears throat> well, I'm back again because of what I heard from you last meeting. So, um, Basically, um, as your motion by you in, on November 27th, I'm requesting that the Safe Community Bylaw be, as presented <clears throat> at the October 30th meet special town meeting, be placed on the annual town meeting scheduled for May 14th without the need of further petition by citizens. Um, I wish to thank the select board for making this motion. It's gratifying to see that our request was considered and met. However, I must point out a few inaccuracies of our motion. Um, our request did not originate because of a procedural misinterpretation, but because the motion was passed inaccurately by a majority instead of the two, retwined two-thirds vote, as Nick Filla, our moderator, has attested. Also, as I pointed out the, at the meeting I came to on the 13th, this motion could not have been put back on the table as it was the last item on the agenda and there was no more business before the assembly. Nick Filler has also concurred with this. So just to clarify those points. Okay, you're in agreement with the motion? I am agreeing with the motion, made. yes, okay. except there were okay. some yeah. inaccuracies yeah. Oh, okay. you, you I wanted to point you, out. You, you <laughs> like the motion, so okay. I did. I and did. you're requesting in writing right now yes, I that am. we do that? Yes, okay. I am. So um, just to finish up, I'm, we're pleased that the voters of Conway will have an opportunity to discuss this views on this important matter at the annual town meeting. And again, thank you for considering this. And um, I guess I wish you all a Merry Christmas, too. Merry Christmas, too. Thank you. And I'll, I'll make a motion that uh, uh, because we've, accept, we've received a written request um, from one of the signatories um, that uh, when the warrant opens, when the warrant opens, <laughs> yes. we will we will put um, put the article verbatim on for the town meeting warrant for May 14th. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I'll uh, thank you. Okay. include that in. in the draft. All right. Thank you. That was quick. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Okay, next item on the agenda is um, discussion, participation in the FERCOG facilitation of electricity procurement aggregation. And we have a, a uh, memo from Bob Dean. Bob, do you want to lead the discussion? Sure. On that? Uh, it's hard to know where to start. Um, so, so a, a, a while back, a, um, a political group in Greenfield, Franklin County uh, CPR, um, adopted a number of, of task forces working on uh, issues that were important to the people who joined the group. And one of those issues was increasing the amount of renewable energy uh, and it, that our towns are using and the general issue of worrying about climate change. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so one of the projects that we worked on was going and interviewing towns and having towns fill out a checklist or their energy committee filling out a checklist 
of projects they might do that would improve uh, sort of green communities kind of projects, mm -hmm. communities that would lower the amount of fossil fuels their town was burning. And in general, the towns all said, these are great suggestions, we're very busy, we have a long list of projects we're currently working on, um, thanks for all the good ideas, and go away, uh, nicely. And, uh, and, but one of the projects that, was, that came up in many of the town discussions was the idea of aggregating the electricity in the town. And we can talk about what aggregation means. Um, but all of the towns in Franklin County all said, we don't want to do it alone. We would really like to do it with a number of other towns who want to do it together so that we have, so that we're buying, um, you know, economies of scale kind of uh, electricity that we think we can get a much better price if we do it with as many towns in Franklin County or even slightly outside the county if they wanted, but with a lot of towns doing it together and bought, the, bought our electricity together. And, uh, and so our, our group that was doing the renewable energy project said, this is exactly the kind of project that we could do. We, have, we had representatives in our group from many of the towns in Franklin County, and they went back and talked to the energy committees and they got a lot of support. So we've been talking to towns about um, what aggregation means and uh, but it, and so we're now at the stage where it's time to have towns declare whether they're even mildly interested or not. Not that they're committing to join an aggregation at this point, but just are they interested? And if they're interested, are they interested in helping this group choose a broker? So that's, that's really the first step that we need to do in order to get this thing moving, is we all need to agree on a broker that we will all work with. And so uh, we went to FERCOG because many of the, many, all of our towns have worked with FERCOG and people generally have a lot of respect for FERCOG and uh, talked to FERCOG <laughs> about whether they would help with the coordination of of forming a committee that will choose the broker. And FERCOG was interested as long as they could, they could choose the broker in the way they're comfortable with, which is putting out an RFP and getting back results. And we said, that's great. And so that's where we are right now. So right now we're out talking with select boards. And although I said I haven't done anything this week, I've talked to the Deerfield Select Board, I've talked to uh, See, the uh, Shelburne Select Board. Week. You know, I've been out talking to a lot of select boards, but it's not Conway business really, but it's all in support of this aggregation project. Sure. And talking to select boards, and many people really don't have any understanding of what electricity aggregation is all about. And then, the, the boards need to decide, and, and Bob had agreed to write this letter and send it out. We knew the letter was coming very soon, and we didn't want the letter to show up, you know, at a town administrator's office too cold, so we wanted to go and talk to the board that they were going to let them know they were going to get this letter and what the letter is asking for. And all this letter is asking for is, would you send a representative to a meeting that will be called at FERCOG to discuss what should be in the RFP. And then FERCOG will put out the RFP, and then this group would come back together again to choose a broker based upon the results of the RFP. Mm -hmm. So, so, so B Bob wrote a very long letter, which is great, about what aggregation is and what all the steps are that will be involved in aggregating the electricity in each town. Um, each town will be aggregating separately, but buying their electricity jointly so that the quantity of electricity is larger. And, and an example of why that's a good idea is Leverett decided to do this on their own. They got a broker, they went out and they got bids for their electricity and the bids were higher than they were interested in. And um, whereas if I look at Greenfield as an example, they're one city but they're large, their price for their electricity is lower than whatever source charges. And in general, the aggregations have been able to come in if they're reasonable size at a price lower than what the utility is charging. So right now the utilities have just dropped their rates to about eight and a half cents a kilowatt hour, and Greenfield is at, is at eight cents a kilowatt hour. 
What did you just say? The, the, who, who? the utilities last May lowered their rates to about eight and a half cents a kilowatt hour. Um, That's what it says were, on my bill. They were, they were higher than that. They were at um, nine point something, yeah, and yeah. they're now at eight point. But you know where they are now. Well, I think they're going up to a winter rate, but I haven't seen that on my bill yet. November uh, November 1st, National Grid went up to uh, 12,673 per, per kilowatt hour. And um, as of January 1, Eversource in the eastern part of the state is going up to 13,157. Over here, uh, they're at about 10,6 or 10,7. Yeah, seven. right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a result of this rate increase that they just got granted. Uh, that's part of it. Yeah, that's part of it. Now, you know, as far as Conway is concerned, um, you know, we passed this at town meeting. Uh, it was mm -hmm. approved by the select board a couple of years ago. Um, we, we were with um, the HCOGS group, and there were 13 Franklin County towns right. involved in that group before that blew up. So um, we are essentially ready to go forward as a town. Right. Okay. Once you know this, this group selects a uh, an aggregation consultant. Right. So our goal is to select that consultant as early as possible, maybe by next February, and uh, in time that that consultant will be able to help the towns that still need to pass warrant articles to pass them in the spring town meetings. So, so that's that's the sort of the schedule that we're working towards. This aggregate, I know nothing about this aggregate. A aggregate. Okay. To a, okay. To okay. So, so before we get in, go ahead. In, into that, um, yeah, I think it would be a good idea to um, to bring it back to town meeting. I did look at the original warrant article, and um, it it was. Uh, it, I, I would be more comfortable if there were a, a follow up vote as well. You don't. You don't have to. But, but, e well. Even even though the H Cog was was named in the Warren article, it's been accepted by D B DPU that it doesn't have to be the H Cog, because you don't really vote on a, um, <clears throat> a consultant. You vote on the idea of going to aggregation. So whether there's a named consultant in there or not, it's it's doesn't bother the DPU. I'm happy leaving this decision up to the advice of whoever the broker is, whoever the consultant is that we choose. Uh, you know, and we could then take that advice or not, but we certainly don't have to make that decision now. You know, we have plenty of time before yeah. next spring to decide whether we want to have to pass another warrant article. But right now, Okay. You know, right now I want people to understand what aggregation is. Yes. Right. yes. And then, so, uh, and then, so and then I want I want the board to decide: is it at all enough interested in this project to appoint somebody? And I'm going to propose it be me. But uh, whether we appoint somebody that's going to be on this committee that helps choose the broker. So that's 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 the ask in Bob Dean's letter right here. So what aggregation is? Aggregation is, on the town level, changing the, the electricity supplier mm -hmm. from Eversource to a different source, mm -hmm. somebody else. And generally it's chosen by you go out to bid, you get bids back uh, from an electricity provider, and they give you a price per kilowatt hour. Uh, for your electricity. And you can choose to take that bid or not. Now, before you go any further, yeah. is this aggregation for the whole town of Conway? <clears throat> or is it only for the town of Conway's electric bills? It, it's for the entire town. So every individual? And every individual who's currently buying their electricity from the utility would have the source switched to the new electricity provider that you decide on. If somebody or other has, is buying their electricity from some other vendor, they would just stay with that vendor. There are some towns that have come to us and they said, we're buying our electricity from HCOG or from someone else. Because and they not would stay all county residents at this present time purchased their electricity from Eversource. 
Right. Some people have chosen a different provider. Different providers. And, and they would then three or four. And they would stay and with I, whoever they're purchasing. And there's somebody from. new been coming around very very recently here, trying to get people to sign up in town, in town for their yeah. plan. And they could do that. That would have no impact on what we're trying to do. The, the, so the people the, who the, would be how do you how do you, how do you sir, I guess the, the, if you're going to grow up a bit yeah. how do you how do you separate that? Do you mean how would you say how many people you're going to have in your town? Right. You would say how many there are right then. Uh, who who are getting their electricity from from the utility from Eversource from the utility yeah right. yeah and is right. there an opt out provision? And there is. So, so just like today, you could opt out of Eversource. You could buy electricity from somebody else. Um, I was with Dominion a, you could, a while ago. You could, you until could, the contract ran out, and then they run their price up out of sight. Right. And I went back to Eversource. Right. So you could, you could, you could decide you want to stay with Eversource. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could decide you want to be with Dominion instead of whoever the town chooses, or you could go with the town. And the default would be the town. The default so, would be whoever the town chooses. So you would opt out of that to your right. other whatever provider. Your, whatever your other choices. Which is, right. which is the way it works now. Right. Now, yeah, sure, yeah. now some, what many towns have done, and if I again use Greenfield as an example, they will get bids on and they will offer to people in the town um, maybe a, a plan and, an, and then a, another choice. So one of the common reasons why towns like to aggregate is both the financial stability, in other words, Eversource changes mm -hmm. their price you know, every six months, mm -hmm. but, and, and, but it's also that you can choose intentionally if you want to support climate change, which is the reason our group is involved in this, or, many or towns- Mitigation. Want to, yeah, yeah want, to, want to mitigate climate change, want, to, want the electricity to be based on a higher percentage of, of renewable sources than ever source purchases. So you can have a greener option where you say, you can buy, let's call, you could have, you could buy exactly whatever source provides, or you could have a greener option that would have a higher content of renewables. Now what Greenfield has, they buy 10% more green energy than Eversource, and their price is still lower than Eversource, and soon is going to be a lot lower than Eversource. They also have a greener option on top of that, where they buy an additional 20% of renewable energy. And that price is, is matches Eversource's price at, until Eversource goes up. Okay. So, at the point that the town goes out to bid, or the, the aggregation goes out to bid, and we get the bids back, the town can then choose. We don't want to. We don't want to be part of the aggregation. Okay. Now my next question. Yeah. This has nothing to do with aggregation. That's okay. This has to do with the council of governments. Yeah. If you're going to ask the council of governments to help put this plan together, they have a fee for service, I presume. Yes, they do. What's it going to cost for the fee for service, and where's the money come from? So not in the budget right now. No, it's not. So we so we went we went to Burkog and asked them. You know, <laughs> could we do this? So Bob Dean has gotten a grant to pay most of his cost, and I've applied for a grant. And just two days ago, I'm patting myself on the back. I learned I I won the grant, and so so I believe that 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 a grant that I've just gotten will pay for the rest of what we owe Bob Dean, and and we will not have to pay for Cog anything this year. Ever. I mean, no, FERCOG's involvement with this ends when we choose the broker. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not an ongoing cost. No, 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 no. For, uh, this, okay. is, this is to call a meeting to decide on, okay. on the RFP and maybe to call a second meeting that will choose the broker based on what we get back from the RFP. So your guarantee will have no cost from the Council of Governments? Right. Right. We don't... Uh, we have... Make sure you write that down. Oh, no. <laughs> we have we have we have very limited funds in our political organization to pay for COG and and uh, right and there's and they're not asking for anything else. Well, right. I guess by the sounds of it, we can't go wrong in trying to investigate it at least. Mm -hmm. I'll I'll make a motion that we uh, nominate Bob to be the representative for Conway on this committee. Mm -hmm. I have a second. Second. All in favor. Can right. I vote in favor? Okay. Yes, of course you can vote. I vote aye. And do we need okay. a, a formal vote to 
to start the process or not? This is starting no, the process. We, we've, it, or, we've already voted, voted that. that right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's already been voted. Two, two or three years 2010, ago. 2010, I think. Three years ago. It's worth a try. It was a long right? time ago. It's going to save our tax money. 13, I think. Oh, 13. It actually was voted. Thir oh, 13. So I suspect Conway is now the first town to actually appoint Before somebody to this committee because. Uh, Bob hasn't sent the letter yet. Bob hasn't actually sent the letter yet. I, he gave, got me this copy just this afternoon so I could bring it to the board today. Well, it's, so. da it's dated today. So it, I'm it's sure hot it is. Off the press. It's very hot off yeah. the press. So I don't think anybody else is. is, is uh, so we're, we're first. I think again, we we're just first again. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, okay. Next item. Uh, Tom, um, you have something on this next item? Yeah. For those going to the. Uh, Mass Municipal Association annual meeting in January. Mm. Do you want to go to the lunch that Maya is holding, um, which is Saturday from 12 to 1.30. That's their annual business meeting. Uh, this is our insurer, and we vote on what their plan is for the next year, and it's pretty much unanimous every year but that's that's one thing that's the uh, that's the representation but they're also asking for um, an RSVP if anyone's planning to go to the lunch which is always a great lunch and you get a free pen right. it's a good pen it's not it's not, not a cheap pen you're, you're gonna be there right? I will be there you recommend you want to be our representative I would be happy to be your representative okay. um, but I would, I, would, I would also suggest that other people go to the lunch too because it's a really good lunch Saturday if you're going to well, be there, well, I I will be there. Okay, I will. Not I will. only not only as an MMA rep, but um, as an exhibitor. Are you? So, but but at the lunch. Gonna... And I will probably be at the lunch. As okay, well. I will. I will put you down. But not, no, I'll 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 take care of my my own reservations. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is they they sent out a form. Yeah, I know. I, I I do it online. So I'm going to be there, Tom. You could add me you to your list. I'm going to go. Okay. Well, so, or, or, I can't. I, I went last year, but I went out. I went for a really great walk around downtown Boston and very good. got my own lunch in Boston. Boston. So this this I'm is separate. But it's service till middle of next summer. I think this is. I'm not sure they do this as part of the 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 uh, annual the whole oh, shebang. Really? Yeah. Invitation. So if I should probably put you down here. All right, put me down. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else exciting going on on the, the day of this event? It's all exciting. <laughs> it's just a question of it. how yeah. exciting you want it to be. That's right. If you're excited about it. Last year on stuff. the day of this event, which everyone probably remembers, it was the day of the Women's March, which was just down the street in Boston Common. And it was and why you, you went to that when this event was over. Oh, okay. Of course, I okay. did. But it was why Elizabeth Warren came and talked at the event, and, and oh, yes. I think Ed Markey came and talked at the event. Yes, they and did. They were both in town, but they were yes. speaking briefly at our event, and then they were down at the women's march. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so I'm just I'm wondering who well. might be in town. Okay. So, so yes, and I would be happy to be the representative as well. Good. Okay. If you Good. wanted that. Any any items um, not anticipated forty eight hours in advance of the meeting? No, I have okay. nothing. All right, Tom, we have your update. There's that. Uh, for committee news, uh, I filed the annual Green Communities Report today, actually. Uh, we're about ready to declare the town hall project done and pay the final invoices. We will then need to see whether there is any money left over for a final project. Has that uh, been resolved? We're in the process of resolving it. We're, we're going to get, um, uh, it's, it's not a refund, we're going to get a, uh, a consideration in, the, in what we were expecting to pay because uh, not all the material was used. That means that we won't, we, we may not get the energy savings right, we were planning it. to do, but we're not gonna pay for what we didn't use. So that means that this final bill is gonna be adjusted? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, okay. But we need to pick up energy savings somewhere else? Um, well, we need to see what they're gonna be. 
that's okay. That, that's a it's sort of a separate. We really matter don't from, know the full winter's history of that project yet to figure out. Yeah. How well it's helped us. Right. Yeah, we we have some calculations, but the you know then there's reality. So right. we'll see. Um, both Sunderland and Whateley are asking for advice about their upcoming anniversary celebrations, and both are complimenting Conway on its success. So we can congratulate ourselves again on our success. On a related note, I have an email out uh, asking about the plan for taking down the banner, but I don't have a date yet. Mm -hmm. I know it was going to be after Thanksgiving, but... Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it should know. be coming out soon, I would think, but... Okay. Well, I, I, I... It was... It, I think it was... I don't know how to say this. <clears throat> uh, the graciousness of the, the light company it was put up. So I think you just... Could, they probably got to wait to turn this to when they're going to take it down. Mm -hmm. I would think. Okay. And it withstood the tornado. I mean, the, the, Are you going to have a Sunderland and Waitley get in touch with our committee? Yes, uh, yes, okay. I have uh, forwarded them the uh, contact information. Good, okay. Um, uh, the do plan. Have, I'm sorry. Speaking of that committee, do we have a final. We do not. Budget take down there yet? No. no. We do not. Okay. Um, the Planning Board and the Conservation Commission both are planning to ask for funds for a clerk, and I have suggested that they combine their requests into one. So it's uh, one person. Uh, they're also indicating the need for a laptop computer, which I fully support as it would be connected to the town IT system, which is recommended for security, backup, and access to public documents. The clerk could report either to me or to the board chairs. Based on a STAM survey, about half the towns who have clerks for multiple positions do it each way. Uh, this will be a decision for the select board, so a heads up on that. Okay. Uh, the Conway Grammar School Moves and Grooves Committee would like to hold their annual 5K celebratory run or walk for Conway Grammar School families later this spring, as they have done for the past two years. The day that seemed to work best for them uh, would be Sunday, May 20th, at 9 a.m., I'm checking with the police chief to make sure that's all right, but I don't anticipate any problem. Okay. It's good. It's a good little thing. For departmental news, I completed the registration for the local update of census addresses. This allows the town to review the records of the Census Bureau and update them appropriately for the 2020 census. The information has to be protected for confidentiality, and in this age of computers, this will involve some work by our IT consultant, as we'll be working in Excel rather than just from paper. Uh, the highway department has submitted four requests for capital items. Bridge repair work, by far the largest. The five-year replacement of a Kubota tractor. The five-year replacement of an excavator and a second request for a lift, as the highway supervisor would like another chance to make the case for it. Okay. Uh, and I, I did get those to the Capital Improvements Planning Committee okay. by their deadline, which was just this past Friday. Okay. I've started filling out the fiscal year 2019 budget with items that have come in. Uh, for your information, I'm going to propose a slight rise in select board stipends so that you don't have to. No, <laughs> to keep in line with others. Um, it has been many years since there was any rise. Yeah, and, I, don't, uh, I, don't, I don't think we should have that. Well, increase. you can vote against it. Yeah. That, that's all right. <laughs> but I, um, I try to uh, be fair to everybody in the budget. Okay. Um, there was a report of a dog nipping a bicyclist on Whateley Road. It did not break the skin, so quarantine was not required. The owner was contacted, but this is a second complaint, so I'll keep you informed if it keeps up. So this is a different dog issue than we had before. Unleashed dog? Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm. Uh, I'm considering holding an all-staff meeting before the Hampshire County Group Insurance Trust comes out with its final plan, as we want everyone to be as informed as early as possible 
I mentioned this last time as well. Uh, the treasurer and I are doing a comparison of plans. It's a little bit apples to oranges, but the staff um, needs to know what the needs to know everything we know. So uh, I figure if we get an early start on it, then when we start the uh, when the clock starts ticking in the legal process, we won't be jammed for time. Mm -hmm. I've been keeping the union rep and the retiree rep in the loop on all of this um, and hope that they're taking the information out. But it might be good for everybody to meet together, um, which would probably be early to mid-January. Mm -hmm. It's a little tricky time to meet, but... Um, uh, anyway, I'm, I'm considering it just to just to have there be more communication rather than less. Mm -hmm. okay. So if it if it looks like that's that's a good thing to do, and I'll ask the union rep and the retiree rep if they think that's a good idea. But um, I'm a little nervous about starting the the extremely prescribed process, um, which has you know all kinds of deadlines and and that sort of thing. Um, and I, I don't want to start that process and then have, you know, a, a lack of clarity about uh, any of the items come up mm -hmm. so that we're, we're jammed for time. So uh, I do hope that, uh, you know, whether or not we end up having an all-staff meeting, I, I do hope it goes smoothly when it happens because mm -hmm. it's, it's an involved process. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you, Tom. Okay, concerns of the selectmen. Do we have any concerns? No concerns. Okay, good. Mail. Mail. Okay. Shortly after our last meeting, we received an email from a resident that came to the select board members. You guys all have a copy. Of, you all got a copy of this. You didn't. I'm not going to. I'm not going to read it oh, in yeah. in full, but I'm I'm just going to summarize it. The title of it is "Plagiarism in Selectman O'Rourke's Greenfield Recorder Op-Ed," and uh, this person accuses me of, of plagiarism, which is not true. Uh, tries to link me to a hate group, which is not true, and then questions um, my integrity. Uh, and points out an article that he put into the recorder. So I just want to mention that. Not going to make any more comments on it. Uh, the next item we have, we have a save the date email from, um, let's see, Rural Commonwealth. This is from uh, Beth Bandy over at um, Charlemont. Charlemont. Yeah. Uh, this is a about a small town summit meeting to be held on Thursday, January the 11th at 7 p.m. Uh, in the Dalton um, Town Hall. Okay, so if anybody wants to go to that, so I generally go to them. Yeah, I mean okay. anybody can go. But yeah. Okay, and that's all the mail we have. Uh, don't have any other announcements. The next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, December 25th, Sixth here, 26th, I'm sorry, 26th, um, here at the, um, the town offices at 6 p.m. Oh, okay. the, the only announcement would be the uh, holiday party. Oh, right, for, the holiday party, yep, of course, uh, the holiday party on the 21st. Committees and 21st. boards and staff. Yes. Uh, all over at the uh, Conway Inn. It's right. Five to seven p.m. Five to seven. That went out. We, we, that notice went out to all committees. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, and let's see what we will do. We were going to go into executive session for reason number seven to comply with any general or special law, specifically to deliberate on past minutes of executive sessions. So. Um, I will make a motion that we go into executive session for that reason and roll call vote. And, and to, uh, to adjourn immediately thereafter. And to, yeah, and to adjourn immediately thereafter without coming back into open session. So, aye. Aye for Robert. Aye. Aye for Robert. Aye for me.